In this video, I'm going to teach the Elmsley count. The Elmsley count is actually a harder move than it looks to be, and what it allows you to do is show four cards, but hide the card that's third from the top of the packet. And in doing show, so, you actually show the first card twice. So, the move looks like this, one, two, three, four, and the Joker was hidden during that sequence. So to do the move, you actually start out with the card you want to hide, third from the top of the packet. It can be face up, face down, whatever the trick you're doing calls for. And then you just hold the packet in your non-deck hand in between your first finger and middle finger, and then your thumb near the bottom, and then your ring finger across the bottom. This will help provide alignment later. And then to do the move, you peel the top card into your deck hand. And there are a number of ways you can peel it. You can peel it with your fingertips in between your thumb here, but I don't recommend that because now both hands look very similar. It's hard to distinguish between the two, and the audience won't know whether you're counting with this hand or peeling from this hand, and it's very confusing. And it's also hi harder to hide the move. You get a lot more cover if you peel the card into mechanics grip with the fingers on the side, the first finger across the front, and the thumb across the top, either here or here. So, you peel the first card, and then the next part is a three-stage maneuver. The first part is to push the top two cards with your thumb here away from the bottom card. To do that, you just apply pressure on the outside edge here. And then essentially all you're doing is just holding that bottom card back as you uh, push those away. Uh, you want to have them as lined up as possible so that you don't actually reveal the card underneath. And uh, that will just come with practice. Also, using this finger as a guide is helpful in having them come out and be aligned. So that's the first part, and this is all happening as you're coming back to peel the second card. The second part is to get rid of this card. What you're going to end up doing, it, doing is leaving it on the bottom of this packet. So you come back, and what you do is you just slide the card underneath these two fingers here, and you want to bring it in as close as possible so that uh, you're not left with that card hanging out somewhere. So, you just come in, you release your grip, you don't want to have a lot of tension there, and you steal that card with these fingers. So now this hand's free. At this point, you do the third part of this maneuver, which is to peel the top two cards as one into the uh, deck hand. So, what you're actually doing is you have these three cards in your non-deck hand, you push them to the side, you drop the card from your hand, and you grab them. So you're doing an exchange of the single card in your hand for the top two cards of this packet. This will be the hardest part to get right, especially the smoothness, and uh, it'll take a lot of practice to make it blend in and not look like you're doing anything. And then to finish the move, you just peel the next card, peel the next card in as a similar manner as possible so that nothing funny is going on. So, you peel a card, you switch, you peel, you peel. Now if you do it as slowly as I did, it's a lot easier to see, as you can tell. So you want to be able to do the move quickly and naturally. You want the smoothness to be uh, on par with you know what you would expect as you're actually counting cards. So one way I recommend to learn the move is to Practice it first very slowly, so, you know, you go, you do the exchange, and this will help you to uh, not make the second move happen fast. You know, some people do this, and then they quickly do the exchange, and then they finish off more slowly. You'll actually do it without noticing. You know, it might not be as obvious as what I just did there, but it uh, will happen. So, just make sure that, you know, when you're practicing, you're not too quick to... Uh, perform the move as fast as you can or uh, whatever just slowly do the maneuver and then uh, the second thing about the move is a lot of times it looks like people are just you know shuffling the cards in their hands and I don't know if anybody else recommends this but my recommendation is as you're peeling the cards bring it down as if you're counting you know when you normally deal cards you you bring it down away from the deck so in the same kind of manner, I recommend you, when you peel the card, bring it down, and then come back up, perform the switch, bring it down, down, down. And that makes it uh, a lot clearer to the audience that this is the hand that the cards are coming from, this is the hand I'm dealing into. 
and basically that's the move. Uh, you can also do the move with three cards and what that allows you to do is show uh, as if you have four cards so you know you push the first card over you load it on the bottom you just take the next card the next card the next card so you know you have one two three four cards you can also do it with five cards and you know you have uh, maybe a card you want to hide here and you just peel off the first card push off three cards this time as you exchange grab and then finish off. 